Alright, so today guys, we're going to be reviewing Bronze Inform, Jed Wallace, plays for Portsmouth in the English Football League 2, he's 5 foot 10 tall, right footed, he's got high medium work rate, a 4 star weak foot and 3 star skills. Looking at his in-games, his standouts are his 81 sprint speed, 77 stamina, 77 agility, 75 acceleration and 74 balance. We've also included all the upgrades from his non-inform as a comparison, so you can see each individual stat increase on all the stats. So you can always pause the video if you want a close look at any of his stats now. So this is the team we were using in Form Wallace in, a 4-2-3-1 BSG, Bronze, Silver and Gold England team, with Inform Wallace as Cam in the middle. So Wallace got his inform for the 6-2 win over Cambridge. Now Tubbs did miss out, he got a hat trick but missed out on the inform. But Wallace did get one and was involved in the rest of the Pompey goals. And he has had a great upgrade. Now he is still a 64 rated bronze, but really he does have the stats of a silver player now. Good position swap as well from the right into the middle. So he can be played where I think personally his best position is as a cam. And he has had a massive passing boost. He's got plus 10s on his short, long crossing and his vision as well. So he does now have great passing for a bronze player. Now, we're not talking uh, Xavi and Pearl West gear, but he can do a job with his passing and his creative game in the middle of the pitch. And was really surprised on how good he did actually feel on the ball. He does have OK dribbling, I think it's a 68, but he does have good agility and balance. And he is pretty pacey as well, does have 81 sprint speed. And he did manage some great dribbles with Inform Wallace. But looking back at the footage, he really does look like a high rated silver or even a gold player. He was cutting through them defenders. Now he is surprisingly good. Now shooting wise, he's not amazing, but still managed his first year of goals. And even bagged this nice long range finish from outside of the box. So he can pull off some decent shots, despite his fairly average shooting. And the goals kept on coming, to be honest, with Inform Wallace. He did average a goal a game over the seven games we played with Inform Wallace. And he can finish on his left as well. Now he does have a four star weak foot, so he can finish off both feet. And did split the goals fairly evenly over both feet for us. Does make a cracking attacking midfielder and I defo recommend playing him as a cam as I really think his defensive stats are not really the best for a deeper midfield role. Cam is definitely the position to play an inform Wallace in and he does have high attacking work rates as well which is another big plus on him. So let's look at inform Wallace's performance stats from so his 7 games he managed to get 7 goals and 2 assists. All stats are on the left. Goals are on the right, the position map bottom right shows you where the goals are scored and assists created as well. So overall we're giving Inform Wallace a great 9 out of 10. Easily one of the best bronze players I have used this FIFA. And surprisingly got on the ball as we said. Does have a great scoring record for us as well from our cam. And he has got big upgrades to his passing as well. Now his rating would be even higher but for his price. I paid 220k for him. And after using him, uh, I went back to check the market. It was around 270k. So his price is fluctuating quite a bit. Now, he is expensive. And that may put a lot of you off. But there's not many of him on the market. So he's quite a rare player. All depends really on how much you want Inform Wallace. So we're just going to leave you now with Inform Wallace's positives and negatives. Now, it does make a great bronze Inform. And the only real negative with him really is his price. As we said, if coins aren't a problem, then I'd definitely say go out and get him. Try him. One of the best bronzes I've used this year. Great, great in form. Great upgrades on him as well. So hopefully you did enjoy this review. If you did, please leave a like. It does help out a lot. We're trying to grow the channel as much as we can. And please subscribe if you're new to the channel as well. Check out all our other videos. We try to do the most in-depth reviews and squad builders as we can. Loads more to come as well, so stay tuned for them. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers, lads, and peace.